Okay, everybody, just got it sketches garage. We got pops taking care of some brake problems. Been beating and banging on that a little bit. It just didn't want to unseize for it. Unseize for so he's gonna take care of it with the torch. We've been working on it for about an hour, maybe two hours. We've already got the exhaust cut out from under it. Got it sitting on the lift. It actually not not too awful terrible looking underneath it. Quite a bit better than I was anticipating. We're fixing to drop out the gas tank. It's ready to drop out of there. Uh, check out these neat old school traction devices on the rear end. I don't know that I've ever seen that before. Uh, this, this car has been sitting since August of 87. Uh, the guy I bought it from said the guy that owned it passed away recently and um, he just drag raced it every day or every weekend until it went down in the 80s and then just sat. Got some cool old stickers from a crash machine shop in Stamford, Kentucky. I've never heard of it. Maybe it's still open, maybe not. Uh, if you guys know, let me know in the comments below. Uh, we're gonna keep thrashing on this and you guys have a good weekend. Right away, we're working on this unit and run across a problem that you guys probably ran across before too. These lines right here, when they've been sitting for a while, they like to freeze freeze up and can be hard to get loose. Most of the time you end up twisting them off or sometimes you get them loose and then it ends off ends up twisting the, the line off up here. If you take and put a little bit of heat on them, you can heat them up a little bit, break them loose about the eighth to maybe a quarter of a turn and then go ahead and tighten it back up and just work it back and forth a little bit to get it broke free up off the line and then you can twist it the rest of the way out and that'll keep you from having to put a new brake line on. The, these right here got drum brakes, so we got a double duty. So Pops is gonna heat them up and I'm gonna go behind them and loosen them up. As you can see, he's heating up the hose itself. We went ahead and cut the hose because if you uh, leave it together, it will pop. It's a shame we wasn't filming. We did the back one and I about jumped out of my pants. So we figured we'd catch these and see what happens. Just gotta get a little bit of heat on them. Uh, you could go to the hardware store and get one of those. <laughs> Get one of those propane torches. It'll work just the same. I wonder how it popped. See, just came loose just as easy as can be. I know it's hard not to grab it with your fingers and check it. Just break it back and forth let it cool off and then you'll be able to take it the rest of the way off pops got this one over here this one might be a little bit harder to... that one popped too That one was actually louder and I jumped less. The first one got me real good. All right.
All right, guys, we got all of them broke loose. That probably saved us all kinds of time. Um, you go making brake lines, you know, it's real tedious, especially if you still got a motor and stuff in the car. Uh, but we got lucky. And remember, we're on an extreme tight budget, so we're trying to get the most for the least. So just kind of keep that in mind. Uh, we're going to keep on this thing, and we'll check in on it a little bit later. Okay, everybody. Uh, me and Pops have been working on this thing for about four or five hours today. Uh, we got her all stripped out, cleaned up. Got all the windows rolling up and down. Uh, got the wiper motor, heater, heater and blower motor pulled out of it. Just a lot of knickknack stuff. I uh, got the steering and stuff pretty much well situated. Checked out all the suspension. Uh, it's pretty good except for the lower ball joint on the passenger side. So we'll just change that out and we'll, we'll live with the rest. Uh, we got all the brake lines busted loose. Just a lot of the stuff that takes a lot of time in the beginning, but we got it all taken care of today. Kind of came up with a game plan. Uh, cleaning out the car, we found a couple real cool knickknacks. Uh, we found this old shifter knob. It's pretty cool. And when Pops was vacuuming out the car the first time, he found the, the key for the ignition, which was a real, real win for us. And then when I was cleaning it out even more, I found the, the other key and the spare key under the dash. So we must be living right or something. Uh, this car would have been a car real easy to walk past seeing it out in the field but i'm glad i didn't pass on it it's it's paid off pretty good for me i believe like i say we got a couple good transmissions the motor you know just just it being a 68 block is cool it's got clutch pedals in the car it had a z bar just a lot of little stuff that if you have to go find it it's going to pack your lunch so i uh, to me, I, I'd almost gave the money that I gave for the car for the two transmissions and uh, the motor and the, the Z-Bar stuff, so. So don't always judge a book by its cover. Uh, this this car, it was on Craigslist, or no, excuse me, it was on Facebook, and all it said was Chevelle and 12 volt. And uh, that piqued my interest enough to go check it out. So a lot of times the diamonds in the roughs are the ones that are rough. If you guys have a good weekend, and I'll talk at you later.